Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I'm Michaela and in today's video I have a really exciting, a really exciting perfume haul that I want to share with you guys. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. So over the past few months, I've been doing a little bit too much online shopping, I'm not going to lie. So I have a few perfumes here that I want to share with you. This isn't actually a full perfume haul because I actually have more than just this but you know you don't want to create a video that's too long so i just have a few that i want to share with you guys and if you guys have any of these perfumes then please comment down below and tell me what you think of them also if you have any recommendations then please let me know in the comment section so starting off this perfume haul i'm going to show you probably my favorite well yeah probably my favorite going out fragrance now this fragrance my friend i went to her house and you know we're just talking about perfumes and stuff and you know i was going through her perfumes and we we're just talking about it and she introduced me to this and let me tell you it was love at first sniff literally like i said i have to have it like i have to have to have to have to have to have it this isn't an everyday scent this is like a going out scent this is like a you know day night scent so the scent i'm talking about is this one this is valentino donna born in roma guys listen this this i feel like it's genuinely a perfume that everybody needs to try i'm not saying you have to buy it but i think everybody needs to try it it is to me out of this world mm. this is so delicious like it's really 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 sexy that's why i say it's like a going out scent it's not something i think you should wear to the office because you're gonna start attracting people that you really don't want to attract or you know it's it's not appropriate for the office i think it's too sexy this gives me you know i got my ish together this gives me it's giving the girls like i'm a millionaire even though you're not this is just what i feel like a, a young sexy woman would wear like it's just so so good like like I can't stop smelling it. Since I've gotten it, I cannot stop smelling it. So let me just tell you about the main accords. So the main accords are woody, vanilla, fruity, soft, spicy, powdery, floral, white floral, musky, green, and sweet. When I smell this, oh, this also has vanilla bourbon. So when I smell this, it gives me really like, it's really boozy. It's almost like you can just get like drunk or high off smelling this. And it sounds crazy but it's so good and it's so addictive like this is the type of scent that once you put it on and you step into a room people are gonna smell it like people are gonna be like you smell really good what what are you wearing you know and i really think it's worth it the lasting power it's amazing it's really really long lasting you can put this on in the morning and you can come back 8 p.m at night and you can still smell it and it smells like you just put it on and the sillage i'd say it's pretty strong like one time i wore it and i stepped into the room and somebody was maybe like six feet away and they're like what are you wearing bearing in mind they're wearing a mask what are you wearing you smell really good i like if i'm rating this perfume i'm rating it 10 out of 10 i absolutely love it and i think everybody needs to try this this is new i think it's, it was released in let me tell you when it was released it was launched in 2019 so it's fairly new and i think you know if it is that you can go to like a perfume store if you can order a sample i think that this is worth a try it's also i think it's a crowd pleaser i think this is something that everybody will love there are some perfumes that you know you might like other persons might not but this it's a crowd pleaser i think it's for somebody who wants a really nice going out perfume you might not be able to smell something if you want to blind buy i think this is definitely a safe blind buy the only thing is that it's kind of pricey i'm not going to lie it is pretty pricey so this is the one ounce that i have here and the one ounce is 75 dollars the one 1.7 um fluid ounce 
is a hundred dollars and the 3.4 is 130 so really and truly it makes sense if you're buying it to buy the 3.4 because you know bang for your buck um but i bought the one ounce and it's probably like one of my best purchases so definitely if you want something like a really nice perfume to go out whatever it is i think this is your best bet you have to check this out like it's so good it's it's just so so good like i don't know there's just something there's no pineapples in the notes like you know there's no pineapples listed but i just smell pineapples i don't know why but i just smell pineapple it's so good but anyway i'm moving on to the next fragrance okay so the next fragrance i have how i was introduced to this i had a sample of it and i at first i was kind of mm, like it's okay but then i started falling in love with the sample and i said i have to have to have to get it so the next fragrance is chloe chloe by chloe and it's the edp so it looks like this i think it's a really really nice bottle um you know the top is actual silver so you have to be careful of how you store it because it will tarnish but the juice so good i don't think everybody will love this but it's really fresh and the main note that i get when i spray it is rose so it's floral rosy really fresh i think it's a perfect work scent like if you work in an office or even if you work you know um at the hospital i think you can get away with wearing this it's not too loud at all um i think like when i smell this i just think about wearing just like a nice crisp clean white shirt with just a pair of jeans and just looking really elegant but just smelling so good i think i don't know it's just it's just so good it's really good but it's just a different type of good this is sexy this is clean like really clean um the lasting power it's really long lasting like again i'll i can wear it to work in the morning and when i come home in the evening i'm still able to smell it and i think the sillage is pretty it's uh, moderate to strong so people will be able to smell you but it's not offensive again it's like a light clean smell without being in um offensive so i think if you're looking for like an everyday work scent i think you can get away with this it's a little bit on the pricey side this is the 2.5 fluid ounce um let me tell you how much it retails for okay so on sephora the one ounce is 79 dollars the 1.7 ounce is 105 the 2.5 ounce which is this is 132 and the 4.2 is $180 but guys I bought this on eBay the 2.5 fluid ounce I bought it as a tester actually let me see if I can find the box one second okay yes I bought the this as a tester so this is a box that it came in you know tester boxes they just usually have like they come in like a white box so it looks like this right and I paid about $50 for the 2.5 ounce as a, and I said the 2.5 fluid ounce on sephora is 132 dollars and yes it is authentic for sure a hundred percent it was about 50 dollars and it is so so good like so good so i think if you can get your hands on a sample you definitely should um but i also if it is that you don't want to spend so much on chloe because yes it is pricey even the test of being $50, it is a little bit pricey. I have the perfect, like 96% dupe of this. I did my research. I bought the dupe that is like a percentage of the cost. It's like $12 for the dupe. I'm not going to tell you what it is in this video, but if you are interested and you want to know what it is, leave a comment down below. I'll be doing a you know side by side comparison telling you about the dupe that i found and if you want then you can buy it because honestly the dupe is like 12 dollars and it's trust me it's really really good like it's almost spot on so let me know 
Okay guys, so we're on to the next perfume. And the next fragrance that I have, I saw like everyone on YouTube talking about it. This is basically a YouTube made me buy it, even though I didn't buy it. My dearest, dearest friend, Brittany, who, you know, I'll leave the link above in the I cards. I don't know if it's on this side or this side. I think it's this side. Um, she was in a video with me, the Q&A. Um, my birthday was February 8th and you know she heard me talking about how I want to buy this perfume I want to try it out because you know I, I saw a lot of persons on YouTube talking about it and She surprised me with it for my birthday. So thank you so much Brittany And that perfume is our math club de nuit intense for women I'm sorry for the fingerprints, but this is what the bottle looks like so again, I think I spoke about Armaf in my last perfume video, my fragrance night video, where I said, you know, they're a Middle Eastern fragrance house, um, known for making like dupes of higher end fragrances. So Armaf is really popular for making Club de Nuit Intense for men, which is a, apparently like a spot on dupe for Creed Aventus. So they made a Club de Nuit Intense for women, which is a dupe for Tom Ford's Noir de Noir. Now, I've never smelled Tom Ford's Noir de Noir, um, but this, let me tell you about this. This, this fragrance, it's really good. But as the other two that I mentioned before are pretty much safe blind buys. This is not a safe blind buy at all. This is for the person who's like well into their perfume collection, who knows about many different fragrances, who has experience with many different fragrances. Again, this is not a safe blind buy. This is for somebody who likes fragrances apart from a really sweet, really fresh. Somebody who likes oud because this has oud and rose. Like it's a very strange combination, but it's so good. I think it's for somebody who's very mature, like, you know? into their perfume game now i remember a couple years ago my mom had this perfume by fendi i can't remember the name of it but it was in a black bottle if i can find a picture of it i'll post it but when i smelled this it was like it immediately transported me back to my childhood because this smells just like it this is really strong like this is a one two spray and go and that is it for the day like Actually, it's not even a day fragrance. I can't even say it's not a day fragrance. That is it for the night. If you spray more than two sprays of this, no, you'll be suffocating everybody. But it's so good. Like, it's really, really good. I do not think it's a safe blind buy, though. I don't think everybody will like it. I love it. But not everybody will like this. It is just... Mm. It's so good. The more and more I smell it, the more and more I like it. I think it takes a little bit of adjusting too. But once you love it, you love it. This is a good like, I mean, nobody's going to the club now. Like, hmm. But this is a good clubbing fragrance. You'll smell good the whole entire night. So the main accords are rose, fresh, spicy, warm, spicy, patchouli, vanilla, oud, woody, floral, amber, and powdery. You really get the rose and you really get the powdery, um, you know scent and i think again this is definitely worth the price this is uh, i think it's about 26 or 30 dollars for the 3.4 ounce the bottle is a really good heavy like bottle and um the lasting power like this will last on you from now till thy kingdom come and the sillage is strong like strong to enormous like you mm -mm, like you you know spray your clothes wash it and you'll you'll kind of still smell it lingering it's really good so if you want i think it's a good try again if you want to blind buy you can because it really is about 26 to 30 dollars so you know if you like it you like it if you don't you don't you won't break the bank so definitely give it a try okay guys so this next fragrance that i have it is probably like it's one of the most affordable fragrances that i own but probably my favorite fragrance i know i said this is my 
favorite but these are my favorite going out like i think this next fragrance you can wear it out you can wear it to work you can wear it every day and you will get so many compliments i've never worn this fragrance and not gonna compliment and it is just it's so just delicious like if you smell somebody wearing this you want to hug them you'll just want to just like smell them and it's so worth it trust me if it's one perfume that you get from this entire video you have to get this and i mean it and i'm gonna show you i got this in december right and i wore it like every single day and it's done now so i actually need to get another one so that fragrance is reb fleur by rihanna now i literally i only have like this much left and that's kind of embarrassing because i'm showing you guys this but i had to put in this video like i had to had to had to had to like it's i don't know there's just something so intoxicating about this like i don't know i don't know like i wore this is it really for work not really but i wear it to work i'm sorry i wear it to work i wear it out i wear it almost everywhere like if it's one fragrance that you have that i think can transition from day to night from work to going out i think it is this it is so good it's sweet without being like too sweet it's not juvenile sweet it's really sexy it's just coconutty it's like you smell plum let me tell you what the main accords are so the main accords are fruity sweet vanilla coconut powder patchouli musky woody latonic and amber you get the patchouli you get the coconut you get the fruity you get the sweet i think everybody if you don't have red fleur if you've never tried it you need to like this if it's one fragrance that i know that i have to always have in my collection is this and i genuinely mean it like you need this it's affordable this is a 3.4 ounce you can get this for like 25 dollars 20 dollars 25 dollars like it is just so good i'm gonna buy a new one soon because i genuinely don't think i can i can't live without this i really really can't it's so good like Mm. if it's one perfume that you're getting from this entire video please please get this it's so good you will not regret it and trust me even if you like you get it and you're kind of like wary at first because when i got it, i was kind of like mm, i don't know but you love it like I, I wasn't sure but i said you know let me still wear it and see and when i put it on like compliments galore everybody loves it and then you start to grow to love it guys so good Mm, that's it get it okay so the last perfume for this video is honey by honey mori now this perfume i got it because i had a little sample of flower bomb by victor and Ralph. now if you know flower bomb flower bomb is so sweet it's so sexy it's it's fruity it's patchouli it's a typical like oh girl that smells good like you know it's so good um but flower bomb is a little pricey so i was like you know looking for dupes of flower bomb and then i stumbled upon honey by honey mori and everybody was like oh my gosh you know it's a perfect dupe for flower bomb um but like a percentage of the cost um and some people said they actually prefer it to flower bomb how it has more berries how it has you know it's sweeter this that and the other and i got it and to be honest i was a little bit disappointed and let me tell you why it i think it's maybe like a 75 to 80 percent dupe of flower bomb like flower bomb you can tell like this is quality you know like I, and again i can't really cost because this is like a hundred dollars or it's it's over a hundred dollars for, for flower bomb but this is like twenty dollars and this is the 1.7 ounce by the way um the lasting power is not great at all um i'll spray this now and within maybe like an hour or two i really can't smell it it gives me it gives me bath and body works body spray vibes but it really it does smell like flower bomb 
it doesn't last the sillage is okay i think if you want to try flower balm and you don't have access to a um like sample or whatever you want to just see you know kind of what it would smell like then okay but it really isn't a true dupe for this also it's very synthetic like you can smell you know it, it smells very synthetic to me it's not i wouldn't really recommend it to be honest with you like if you're gonna spend your money don't don't just get this i mean you might have to save for it if you want to save for it but it's mm, not really my cup of tea but i mean i've kind of created a dent not gonna lie but it's just because sometimes like you know i'm on call and if i'm at the hospital and i shower in the middle of the night i kind of just use this as a body spray i think this is an edp yes yeah, an order for fun but it really does not behave like an edp it's like a ebt in my opinion it's it's okay i think the bottle is really nice though it has it's supposed to have like a little flower at the side but that fell off um but yeah i i don't recommend it to be honest but that's just my honest opinion um if you have honey by honey murray then let me know or if you have any of these perfumes let me know in the comment down below and let me know what you think give me any suggestions that you have i have another part to this video that should be coming soon with my other um you know fragrances um also if you want i can actually do a comparison and tell you like the differences between these two like a original and a dupe i'll do that and i will you know create a video as i said about the dupe for chloe which is excellent so guys if you like this video then don't forget to like comment share and subscribe make sure you subscribe like seriously subscribe like subscribe so yes thank you for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day bye